what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's miss tiff dance here telling you that before you start online dating here are some things that you need to know if you're just getting back out there if you've never been on there because you've been tied down pretty much 10 years 12 years or whatever the case may be but if you are trying to online date watch this video to the very end to find out my nine tips before you start to online date my channel is a place for married parents single parents rear focused individual and anyone who wants to stay balanced motivated and dance through life dance means dealing and navigating choices effectively all right now let's get into this video Whether you're new to the online dating because you were already in a committed relationship and you were tied down so you know nothing about it or you are just getting back out there, tested the waters a little bit but didn't like it, wanna try again, make sure that you watch this video to the end to find out the things that you need to know before you decide to start online dating. So you wanna online date, you wanna find somebody, you wanna meet people. Number one thing that you need to know is that when you date these people, I know as exciting as it might be to meet new people, they probably and more than likely are on more than one app than the one that you were finding them on. I'm not gonna sit up here and call out apps, but there are certain ones that for sure people are not just on, if they're on this one, they might be on this one. If they're on that one, they might be on another one. So if you hit it off, he really likes you or she really likes you. You decide to get off the app or say, hey, you need to get off the app too. All right, done. It might be deleted from that one app, but you don't know if they're on another, Tinder, Plenty of Fish or BLK, you don't know if they're on another one. And chances are they might be because a lot of these people that are dating online are usually putting their profiles on multiple sites. Just be aware of that and ask, hey, is this the only site you're on? Do your research is all I'm saying. Number two, another thing that you need to know before you start online dating is that there are scammers on there. This is a home, a safe haven for scammers. This is, you know, scammers feast, buffet, delight. This is a place for a lot of scammers. And it's number one, they could be scamming you out of some money with a sad story, trying to build a rapport, play on your emotions, make you think that they really want a relationship. But in actuality, all they want is to take your money or try to get you to give them money and don't care anything about you. So they could be trying to scam you out of your money or number two, they could be trying to scam you out of your body. A lot of people on here might not want just a relationship or they might not want a relationship at all. They might have ulterior motives. So that is the scam. I will make you think that I want more from you, but I just want to wham bam thank you ma'am and i'm out be aware there's scammers out there don't get scammed number three is especially if you are on a free dating site all right there's free dating out sites out there where it doesn't cost a penny you can get access to millions of people without paying anything they might have a premium account where you get more quality of people however if People who are on a actual free dating site, and this is how I look at it by the way, I was never onto the whole free dating sites because I like quality. I want to pay for quality people. That I want to weed out the people whom I think may be just there because they don't really care and they're just trying to pick up on something easy. I want quality, so I invest in quality. I'm not on online dating sites anymore and won't probably get on them again. I never say never, but I don't think I will. You have to think of this. If people are on a free dating site looking for someone and they're not even willing to invest the money in meeting someone quality, then why would they see you as quality? Why would they invest time in you and giving you quality attention, quality time, spending money on you? If they're not investing in themselves to find a quality person, then chances are they don't want quality, they want something else, and they won't give you the quality of the person that they are because they're not willing to invest. If they're not willing to invest in one way, they're probably not willing to invest in another. So just so you know that these people, if they're on a free dating site, might not be willing to invest in the same way that you would want them to or that you were thinking of. And a lot of people don't think about that, but I do. Number four, people put old pictures up there. 
And yeah, that, they'll say, yeah, that's me, you know, but they won't have the current version of themselves. They'll have themselves in their best physique, their best physically fit um, stage in their life. Two year old, three year old, four year old pictures, you know, sometimes even 10 I've heard. Even though it's them, it's not the current version of themselves. So it's still kind of not truthful. It's still not who they are as the way they are now. The person that you are attracted to is what you see. And what you see when you meet them may not always be what you get if their pictures are outdated. Or they might not be their pictures at all. For instance, I had a person tell me that they met up with someone. It was a guy, right? He told me he met up with a female on online dating. He was looking for her and couldn't find her. He called her on the phone and said, hey, where you at? He was like, I'm right here. She's waving her hand. He walks over to her, he's like, that's not what you look like on the profile. What's up with this? She says, well, would you have came if you knew I looked like this? So she was something totally different than what he saw. But he wasn't happy. Don't get catfished. Make sure these pictures are theirs and pictures that are current. Okay, number five. There are gonna be people who will have naked body pictures showing off their, their bod or whatever. They may look like they're just swimming or taking a swimming picture or whatever. No, they're on their mystical. So they're trying to show you what they working with. Yes, they might have been taking pictures while they were at the lake or in the ocean or on a trip, but why aren't they showing you the pictures when they was at church and their Sunday's best? Because they want you to show you what they got because they want to entice you. They want to draw you in. They want to attract you. They want to seduce you. Nine out of 10 times, they are looking for wham bam thank you man. So they're not looking for someone serious. If they have their nakedness shown, I'm sorry, just, just face I, I just can't think of any guys, anybody I've known to date that had profile pictures where they were shirtless that were serious about dating someone. They're looking for something temporary to satisfy their personal needs. They don't want to be very personable with you. They just looking for something on more on a sexual level. There's nothing wrong with putting all your clothes on, on these pictures. So just be aware that if you see these pictures, these shirtless pictures, that they're trying to seduce you. They're trying to attract you, let you know what you're getting when you get in front of them physically. So you see with the visual, now you know, this is what you're gonna be working with when we get into close proximity. Number six, the same people will be on there from years and years to come. This is what I mean by that. Say for instance, you meet somebody on there, you guys work it out, you guys have a nice relationship, you're doing it big for two years. You get off the app, you break up, you get back on the app, two years later, you will see some of the same people nine out of 10 times on that same app. The people that are on the apps will consistently be on there for years and years and years at a time. So do not be surprised if you see some of the same people. If that doesn't say red flag, I don't know what does. Number seven, a lot of people on these dating apps, they have issues, whether it be emotional, socially awkward, plain out crazy, truthophobic, hydrophobic, being in denial of their height, or insecure, moody, got a, a criminal past that they don't want nobody to know about, might be violent. A lot of these people have issues. I guarantee you, a couple of people that you're chatting with on these online dating apps have one of these issues. If it's not one of these, it's something else. Be very careful because they're behind a profile. It's easy to say anything and do anything behind a profile picture. Number eight, it's convenient. It's convenient for lazy people. Yes, that's right. It doesn't take anything to plan out and take time and set aside to go out and try to meet people. Not saying that you're going to, but take the time out to meet people. There's so many things. You can be online networking. You could do so many different things in so many different places that you can go out to meet people. But a lot of people online, they say, oh, I'm too busy. I, I have I have work, I have work, I have work, I'm too busy. But how are they gonna have time to see you? That's what I'm thinking about. Like, if they're too busy to actually take the time to go out and meet people, how are they gonna have the time to invest in you and, and be with you and get to know you? I think that it's conveniently lazy for people to meet people online. You can plan a day, a couple of days in a month, if you really are serious and truly interested in meeting somebody, to set aside time to link up with your girlfriends and go out for drinks at a happy hour or research an event that you might find interested in, to go out and do that but to just 
put up a profile, put up some work, you get flooded in your inbox that it may make you feel good, like, wow, I'm the man or I'm the girl. But like, what are you getting? Are you getting that quality that I was talking about earlier? I'm not saying all people on online dating are lazy. There are some who are genuinely busy. Some have things with genuine reasons why they can't. However, a lot of people, and I'm not going to back down from this, a lot of people are just lazy and it's a convenience to them. So if they're lazy to meet people and go out and get off their butt and go out and plan and meet people in person, then when you get to know them, you'll find out that some qualities about them may be lazy in certain areas of their life. Prove me wrong if I'm not. Number nine, people will lie and talk a good game because they are protected by a profile picture. People say anything online they will tell you all you want to know they will tell you that they are six feet tall dark handsome have a master's degree family oriented and want a full relationship and they are a Scorpio but when you get in front of their face they might be 5'3 might be a Sagittarius no job a personal trainer don't believe the hype I've known people to say one thing and be one way behind a profile, but when in person, in, in person or over the phone, they don't have that courage. They don't have that profile courage that they do when they're behind that profile picture. They just have a different persona than what you were attracted to. So do not be surprised that the person that you think you're getting is not what you get. And here's a bonus tip. I've done so much research and studies have shown that even if you do meet somebody, I'm not saying this is the case with everybody, but even if you do meet somebody, they say the chances are slim that it'll actually really work out. Even if you make it to the aisle, you make it to the altar, their honeymoon and everything, it might not be a long lasting relationship. Make sure you consider these things before you start online dating. I'm Miss Tiff Dan and I will be back with another awesome video.